Wait. On day four, I hiked 17 miles and went over three passes on my way to Hunt Lake. Good morning, friends. A few miles in today. Came to the top of my first peak. It was nice to have some of that hill that I went through yesterday. So it wasn't quite as hard today. But the muscles are a little stiff, but it's beautiful up here. So I have a little farther to go today than I thought, about 18 total, about 15 or 16 left today. It's pretty cold last night. I was camping almost at 12,000 feet. I saw a few ice crystals as I was coming up the mountain here, but as the sun came up, the temperature went up about 20 degrees. So uh, stripping down, getting ready for a long day of hiking. Been blessed with a rail grade trail for the last mile or so super easy super flat they had a thing back there about the trains that used to run on here look kind of brutal and look at this I just made it up another big pass you can see down there the lake and the trails between them now we're headed up over this pass. There's about, I don't know, 600 feet of gain in a half a mile. Kind of brutal. But as you can probably hear, there's a nice breeze up here. So uh, give me a look here on the other side. Go back down. No, I see some lakes down there. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Taking a little break here. Mid afternoon, super hot. Had some Doritos beef sticks. Filling up my water here. Unfortunately, I discovered that I left my Garmin InReach Mini at the top of the peak that's almost four miles up. I don't have the energy to go back up there and get it. I put a message on far out telling people I lost it and if they see it, let me know. I'll kind of been sitting here for a while seeing if anybody else comes down. Left a message for Chuck. Surprisingly, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere and I had cell service. So I text my wife, told her my Garmin's gone for now, so don't expect to be able to follow me or get any messages. I should reach the uh, ski lift area tomorrow and have cell service there. Uh, I also messaged Chuck to stop messaging me on my Garmin and text me on my regular phone number. So... I'm not sure if I'm going to have cell service between here and, uh, I don't know, I think it's about 15 miles to the ski lift area. So not until tomorrow around lunch, but it's hot. Uh, one more super big climb. Got about a mile up to a trailhead here. <clears throat> going to start making that climb. Probably go halfway up, camp for the night, do the second half in the morning. But 
it's kind of sucks. Kind of hard to communicate with Chuck. Uh, plus, I don't want to have to buy a new Garmin. But um, anyway, I'm just taking my time here during the hot. Uh, I've only got like three miles to go. I think it's maybe two o'clock. So I'm going to chill out and I'm going to go down to this. There's a big river down here and just uh, find a place in the shade and rest. And then make that two mile climb up the mountain. I started that big climb, made it to Boss Lake Outlet. Let's see the lake here. some equipment over here i.e. outlet i'm sure they can let the water in and out of this lake as needed old cabin here but also something that's kind of cool i think is it's raining over there but not here i'm hoping it's going the opposite direction if not I may have to put on my raincoat. All right, mile and a half, 800 feet of ele elevation game gain until I get to the campsite. Have I told you it's beautiful out here? I made it to Hunt Lake, beautiful lake over here. It's only about 4:30, but. I figured it was time to stop, just in case, uh, I'm sure Chuck, I have no idea how he's feeling. He can usually cut, put on miles, but you never know if he's not feeling well. So, this keeps on going straight up, so I thought I'd stop here and make it easier for him to catch me. And, honestly, uh, it's not that long hike into the Monarch ski area tomorrow, which is where we're gonna grab lunch. And pretty nice little campsite here. Nice flat, nice tent spot over there. Nice tent spot over there. Look, somebody else is stupid like me and forgot their water bottle. All right, I think this is gonna be home for night right here. Cat drug in. Chuck! Oh, buddy. How do you feel? <sighs> Pretty wiped. Me too. <sighs> but you made it. I was a little Did worried. You no, know, this isn't a beer gut. <laughs> it's a fuel tank for a <laughs> Yeah, but look at the size of them <laughs> thighs, man. <laughs> beer bag is hung. Biscuits and gravy in the tummy. Had a nice candy bar. Chuck is here. Chuck, what's for dinner tonight? I made it. What's for dinner? <laughs> Three guesses. Um, <laughs> you. Spanish, <laughs> Spanish rice. <laughs> it was and? 99 cents. You didn't mix it with stuffing or anything? Well, I mixed it with the uh, Mission Sweet Hawaiian tortillas. Mm. What's for dessert? This is it. I can't stomach anything else. <laughs> Chuck, did you have a good day hiking? Yeah, I had a good 24-mile day, <laughs> and I'm smoked. Say good night, Chuck. Good night, Chuck. On our final day, we walked 19 miles. We passed through Monarch Ski Resort to the CT-CDT intersection and back to Fusas Creek Trailhead.
another glorious morning here on the Colorado Trail. Had a thousand foot climb this morning. Put that's in the rear view mirror now. Where you saw me changing clothes back there uh, next to that rock, Karen, was uh, the Continental Divide. So this is the last high point for this segment of the trail, mostly downhill from now. And uh, you can see here, if I zoom way in, you can see where the trail's going to the next mile or so. See power lines, I know we go underneath those. So, anywho, I've been walking in the shade, kind of behind the mountain there. That was kind of nice, kind of brisk. Now I'm gonna be coming back out into the sun. Of course, up here at altitude, it's a little cooler, but it's a welcome, welcome temperature after climbing up that hill with my uh, hoodie on. So, I can smell a cheeseburger coming in my future. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm a little odorous. Came to a road here. I believe I'm on the Monarch ski area property now with some roads. I can see way up here. Looks like ski lift. You may not be able to see it, but down here, there we go. I believe that's Highway 50 and there's a building. I think that might be where my cheeseburger is. But I still have 3.6 miles until I get there. So it's a beautiful morning though. I was following a deer trail for about the last two miles. Uh, it looked like he was going in front of me. Never saw him, but. So you may wonder why I like hiking alone. Look at this view. <laughs> Monarch Crest, cheeseburger, here I come. Made it to Monarch Crest, cheeseburger. Ooh. Strawberry banana smoothie, orange juice. Yeah. Shots of cheese. Ooh. And it's gonna come out just as fast as it went in. I think I'll wash that down with Dr. Pepper. Chuck's got a burger too. Tummies are full, Chuck. How are you feeling? Full. Oh. Pack's light, I'm not. All that food sounded like a great idea until we started hiking here again. Look, a tram. Made a big climb there on, a, on our crest. You can see the highway down there, way over there, in the center of the screen. Kind of hard to get up for hiking 10 miles after eating that burger, but got a muscle through. We're almost done. Coming up on the southern tip of the Collegiate Loop, which is where the east and the west meet again. I've done the entire trail other than the Western uh, Collegiates, which we did this trip. That means you're here with me. I've completed the entire Colorado Trail. Woo buddy. Here comes Chuck. Feel like I've been here before, Chuck. <laughs> uh, yep. What do you got to say about yourself? I did a thing. Hey. <laughs> All right.
right. We're, th we're to the end of another trip. And our trail angel, Nancy, has come to save us once again. What do you have to say, Nancy? Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. What? <laughs> <laughs> That, that really is good. why he is not on YouTube. So he needs water. <laughs> Check out Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you on the trail. That's That's